Hello. So we're back in this time. We have a proper nice laptop to repair. I mean, we fixed so many Toshiba Dina books on the last period of time. i5 CPU. Pressing the power button, the laptop it is coming on. And we have picture, it's loading the windows. And now you will ask, okay, so what's the problem? The problem is, let's check the customer email together. So the customer is saying, hi, sorry, we have a Dynabook uh, Satellite Pro C50 charging to 35% before it stopped charging. We sent a few of these with you, and we think it's a MOSFET causing the charging issue. Very possible, very possible. Hope it's another easy one for you, like an easy pizza, right? Yeah. Now, more than that, yeah, more than the fact, actually, those people send me a lot of laptops. They send me a letter, a little treat for you, and he, they send me a lot of candies, yeah? So it's a must to repair this laptop. First, I will say, let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. Now, we need this kind of plug. Now, this is too big. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Now, let's see. Or how we can check if it's charging. Hmm? The people are saying there is the laptop is. Wait, my power supply clicked. So we don't have enough current, or is something very wrong with the laptop? And we do have enough current. You remember this laptop is charging with like 800 milliamps. So plug in the. Yeah, check that. Like three amps, and the voltage get dropped to 11 volts. You can see. Yeah, 11 volts, 3 amps. Let me lower the current. Yeah, and now the battery is not getting disconnected. It's getting disconnected because of the overcurrent. But if I lower the current, the voltage gets dropped to like 9.8 volts, and it's charging with 1.6 amps. And this is an uncontrolled charging current. If I raise the current, the voltage is going up, but we are already like 2 amps and the battery is supposed to be charged with 800 milliamps only. Rising the current even more. And on some point, yeah, the battery is getting disconnected. So definitely is something wrong with this, uh, with this laptop. I will say, let's open this laptop and let's try to help the customer, yeah? Just give me one minute. Okay, and the laptop is open. Yeah, that's a classic motherboard. Huh? You remember which MOSFET is uh, usually shorted on this board? I believe it's a design issue. Because every dinner book comes here like with exactly the same MOSFET shorted. And the MOSFET which is shorted is that one. It's exactly that one. So do you think that MOSFET is shorted? Huh? Can we check that? Let's see. So I'm, uh, I'm going to disconnect the battery. So checking the MOSFET if it's shorted. And it's not shorted. Not this time, huh? Okay, this is, this is, this is, this is, a, this is a surprise for me. I mean, why? Why the, I'm pretty, yeah, 1.4 ohms. Yeah, 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 sorry. So you see what happened? What happened, it's exactly what happened in, on the last video with the laptop where I checked the fuse and there was actually two fuse which they are uh, supposed to be dead, faulty, but actually only one fuse was faulty. The other fuse probably it was good, but my multimeter is playing. I ordered another props for the multimeter so check here, it's not beeping. You can see it's not beeping. No, now it's beeping, you can see. So yeah, my uh, my probes are playing, but I ordered another uh, probes for the multimeter. So we have to remove the SSD. Now, why that MOSFET is getting shorter, that's a mystery. 
Yeah, I cannot explain. I mean, the charging current is low. It's like 800 milliamps on every laptop. That's normal for this laptop, for this uh, model. So 800 milliamps is quite a low current. With the laptop being gone, probably it's around 2 amps. So uh, I, I cannot explain why that MOSFET is getting burned. I can only assume it's like uh, a bad batch of uh, MOSFETs from the factory. Now, this is the MOSFET. We're going to check the MOSFET one more time just to be sure. So from here to here, and it is beeping. Yeah. The MOSFET has one on. So the MOSFET, it is shorted. Now, hot air, 480 degrees. Quickly, let's remove the MOSFET. That should be an easy, painless job. This is a channel N MOSFET. And the MOSFET, it's out. Yeah. Yeah, not sure what MOSFET it is, but it's a channel uh, N MOSFET. So I'm gonna grab another motherboard. And we're gonna take a MOSFET from uh, like a power supply, like this one. Check here, we have a bunch of MOSFETs. So any MOSFET, it'll do the job. Channel and MOSFET, and the MOSFET is out. I mean, not sure what board is this. One second. But here it's a diode. So check here. Probably this is the high side MOSFET. It is the high side, yeah. And here we have like a center diode or TVS diode, whatever. You see, this diode is a trap. Ha. <laughs> Not sure what uh, what board it is, but yeah, yeah, manufacturer using like uh, yeah, it's a old one center diode for uh, you, he, even here. So check here, even here it has a diode. You can see the input circuit. So you have the first MOSFET, the second MOSFET. This is quite an old board, but you have one center diode there and one here, which is insane. Doji manufacturers. And where is the MOSFET? It's here. Okay, so we have the MOSFET. Let's solder the MOSFET back. We good. And the MOSFET is soldered back in place. Now, the laptop should be working now and charging fine. Let me cool down the board quickly. Yeah, easy. easy. It's a common fault on um, this model of Toshiba. So plug in the battery, plug in the charger, check that we have the pre-charge current, wait, yeah, wait, we have the charging light here, 130 milliamps, but the current it will change probably to 800, hopefully, I know it's taking a while. Uh, let's plug the M2 SSD back. Perfect. And we have the screw. And check on the screen, check on the screen. 800 milliamps, 830 milliamps. That's mean 
the laptop it is charging fine. Now pressing the power button, power button is here and the laptop is taking like 1.5 amps and everything is working fine. Yeah, it's taking a while because we reset the... No, we didn't reset the BIOS. So why we have no picture? The laptop restart does mean the BIOS got reset. But why the BIOS got reset? Because the BIOS battery is plugged in. Check here. You can see the BIOS battery. Let's check the voltage on the BIOS battery. Mm -hmm. So do you think the BIOS battery is dead? We have 2.4 volts. It's not dead, but uh, it's going to be dead soon. So I'm plugging the charger, I'm plugging the battery. The battery has 1.2 volts, check on the screen, you can see, and the voltage is going down. Yeah, it was sustained by the power from the laptop. Uh, 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 we have a coin battery here. And no, I don't have this kind. Of, so check here the cable. How long is the, the BIOS battery cable? I mean, the ground should be common, right? Yeah, we have like 1.2 volts. Yeah. So you see, I spotted, I spotted. Always you have to ask yourself if there is a BIOS battery, why the BIOS is getting reset when you unplug the power or you take out the battery. Because it's not normal. That's the reason why we have a BIOS battery on the first place. To be sure, you know, the BIOS is not getting reset. Now, let me try to find a brand new BIOS battery here somewhere. Found that, check that out, brand new BIOS battery. You said it's too small. Yeah, the size doesn't matter. You should know that by now. All right. Let's check the voltage on this one. So the voltage on this BIOS battery is zero. Okay, so the BIOS battery is dead or what? Yeah, this is a brand new BIOS battery dead. Hmm? How is possible? You yeah, found another one. Found another one. Let's check this one. So this one has 0 0.5. Oh, Lord. Okay. Hey, let me find another one. 2.9 volts. This is like a brand this is brand new. It's not like a brand new, it's a brand new BIOS battery. Mm -hmm. So the old BIOS battery is coming out and the new one, I believe we have same connector plus on that side. Perfect. Let's check the voltage on the BIOS battery. And on the BIOS battery we have 2.9. Huh? We found the place for the BIOS battery. Perfect. Yeah, like brand new. So now we can plug the battery. Let's first load the BIOS. Then we're gonna unplug the battery and check if it's uh, the BIOS battery is holding the BIOS. We should hold, you know, the battery has three volts. Now, I remember on the last video, people said, Sorry, why don't you replace the BIOS battery with a coin battery? If you try to solder a coin battery, after the first explosion, you're not uh, going to try again to solder coins batteries. Then, uh, someone said, uh, Sorry, why don't buy those batteries? Because 
proper cheap. And indeed, they are cheap. But if you don't have them, like I don't have them now, I should hold the laptop for like two days for a BIOS battery when I can use a different one. No, really. But I will, I will, um, I will gonna order some batteries. Yeah. Okay, so we are shutting down the laptop. The fan is still spinning. Let's wait. Yeah. And now the laptop is off. So if we are unplugging the battery, and if we are plugging the battery back, the laptop should start straight away. Plug in the battery, pressing the power button. The laptop is coming on and it's starting straight away because the BIOS battery is good. So what do you think about that? Huh? It is a perfect uh, repair or not? Yeah, check here, proper long cable. And this is a flexible cable. You know how many proper calibrators use are inside of the, those wires? Huh? Yeah. Good. So I'm going to stop now. The lessons to learn from here, if you have this laptop, this laptop has only one fault, yeah? nothing else. That MOSFET, that's all what you have to check or replace. But even if that MOSFET is shorter, the laptop it is coming on, but it's not charging or it's charging to a certain percentage. So I will say, have a beautiful week. Yeah, it's Monday. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you